Um, I both uh, saw it and experienced it uh, in my high school. I grew up in Prince Edward Island in a really small town of a thousand people. Uh, and uh, I was really small till quite a late age. So uh, I was very easily bullied because I was only about five feet tall. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I did see it growing up. I wasn't bullied. There were many times where I slapped a few people myself um, because, quite frankly, rather irritating. Um, I think I experienced bullying more in elementary school. Um, certainly, I, well, as a girl and having spent a lot of time with girls, I, I think my experiences were that um, girls who found themselves um, in a position of popularity or had um, some sort of a following had a tendency to take advantage of that, especially for any students who maybe didn't quite fit into particular groups, and I certainly found that I was one of those students. I was slightly picked on because I was quiet, so when you picked on me, I gave you a slap. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that um, particularly for anybody who sees themselves in a position of power, it is very easy to, um, to use that to your advantage. I don't see it in my professional life mm -hmm. at all. Uh, I'm very lucky to work at UBC, which has pretty much a zero tolerance policy. I was actually bullied in the workplace to an extreme where um, I was threatened. I was actually physically threatened by somebody. So, um, so that put me into a bit particular position. And it's tough because the bully generally is the one that is not necessarily wanting to bully you, but they're very insecure about themselves. They um, generally have background problems. So um, even in the workplace, usually there's um, something else involved. So that that's why they bully you. They want to feel good about themselves. Or um, they generally just don't like you, actually. I think it's important to have um, middle and upper managers be educated about these issues. Um, you kind of have to squash it. Just be the... Just be the...